Welcome to America Reads Fun and Easy Learning Activities, where college students work together to create learning activities that are fun and effective for kids. Today's activity is focused on math. I will be introducing equations where multi-digit numbers are used and introducing techniques to solve more complex problems. And I, Viridiana Rodriguez, will be walking you through this fun activity. Let's get started. Okay, so I have set up a couple of sort of flashcards with some multi-digit math problems on them. So here is our first problem. Um, we always start from right to left and up down. So we're gonna add these two numbers. Since we always start from the right, we add up and down. So, 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, actually, to just start this problem, we have to make sure you read the big numbers so that you know what we're working with. So, we have 434 plus 525. So, those are the two numbers that we're working. So, 434 plus 525. So, we're going to add from up down so 4 plus 5 equals 9 3 plus 2 equals 5 and 4 plus 5 equals 9 so 434 plus 525 equals 959 so for our next equation here we have 200 plus 135 so this one's a little bit easier because when we have zeros, there's not really much work that we need to do because 0 plus 5 equals 5, and 0 plus 3 equals 3, and 2 plus 1 equals 3. So our answer to this equation is 335. Now our third equation, we have 267 plus 100. So again, we have two zeros on our second number, so it makes it much easier to solve it because 7 plus 0 equals 7, 6 plus 0 equals 6, and 2 plus 1 equals 3. So 267 plus 100 equals 367. That would be the answer to this equation. For our fourth equation, we have a little bit of mix of numbers here. So we are working with 152 plus 325. So again, we're going to go from up to down, right to left. And the reason why we work from right to left is because if you have a bigger number on the left side, you're going to have to sort of add that remaining number to the next one. So I'll show an example of that in a bit. But for right now, they're really simple. So we're just going to work from up to down. So 2 plus 5 equals 7. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And 3 plus 1 equals 4. So 152 plus 325 equals 477. Next equation. We have 422 plus 235. So again, from up to down, right to left. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 3 plus 2 equals 5 and 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 422 plus 235 equals 657. And if you always want to check your answers, you can do that with a calculator or you can have uh, mom and dad check it for you and see if it's correct. So we have twos on top and so 222 plus 345. So again, 2 plus 5 equals 7, 4 plus 2 equals 6, and 2 plus 3 equals 5. 
So 222 plus 347 equals 567. So next equation, it's a little bit easier I think. 147 plus 321. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And 3 plus 1 equals 4. So the answer to this equation would be 468. Let's do something a little harder. Okay, so our next four equations are a little bit harder only because in these equations we're sort of gonna have to carry some numbers onto the next one. So to show you an example of something a little harder, so we have 147 plus 951. So no matter how big the number, it's always gonna be from right to left up and down. It's just going to make it much easier for you. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. 4 plus 5 equals 9. And here we have 9 plus 1 equals 10, which is a double digit number. So we're just sort of going to plug in the 10 there. So our, our answer to this equation is 1098. So that's how we would do something like that. We sort of just plug in the full number there where it belongs. But in cases like this equation where we're gonna sort of end up with a double digit number somewhere on this side, so the right side instead of the left side. Um, so here we have seven plus seven, which equals to 14, which is also a double digit number. So since we have 14, we can't sort of just stick the number 14 here at the bottom. So what we would do is we would have to carry that one and we would have to put the four down here. So it'd be 14. So then when we add this, these two numbers here, we're also gonna have to add the number that we carried. So in this case, it would be one plus three equals four plus five equals nine. So then our nine goes there. And for our 6 plus 6 here, which is on the left side, 6 plus 6 is 12, which is a double digit number. But since it's on the left, we're sort of just going to put that there. So 637 plus 657 equals to 1,294. So that's something a little bit harder, but with practice, you can get the hang of it. So now we have 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 5 plus 5 equals 10. So again, when you get a double digit number on your left side, you will sort of just bring in the number down. So 521 plus 532 equals 1053. Now our last equation. We have, looks like on the right side we're going to have um, double digit answers. So again, to solve that, 7 plus 3 equals 10. I got sort of had a brain fart there. So 10, so we're going to carry the 1 and we're going to put the 0 here. And now we're going to have to count, we, we add these. So. We add these, but you cannot forget the one there, or else it will throw off your in your entire um, equation. So 5 plus 5 equals 10, plus the one up here, which is super small, equals 11. So that's also a double digit number, so we would have to carry the one and put the other one here, right? Because it's 11. So 11. So now to add these, we cannot forget the number that we carried. So 3 plus 1 equals 4, plus another 1 equals 5. So 557 plus 153 equals 510. And that basically concludes all of the equations that we will be working on today.
Thank you for learning with me today. I hope you come back soon. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with tons of new fun activities.